Hi, welcome to Mukaddima, my name is Siavish. As some of you might have heard, we have a new Assassin's Creed game coming out called Assassin's Creed Mirage. It's going to take place around the 860s and 870s in the city of Baghdad, so I thought that I'll make a quick review of what Baghdad was up to around this time. At this time, most of the Islamic world was united under the Abbasid Caliphate. Its usual capital was Baghdad, but Caliph al Mutasim had founded a new capital at Samara, more than 100 kilometers from Baghdad, for his shiny new Turkic army. These Turks wanted more and more power, and so they came into conflict with subsequent caliphs and eventually killed Caliph al Mutawakkil. Al Mutawakkil was killed in 861, so I doubt that he'll be making an appearance in the game. He was the one who tried to break the Turks, but failed by one person, and so he was killed by the Turks. It was his death that sparked the events of the Anarchy at Samara, which is when the game is based, which went on from 861 to 870. We're almost certain to meet Al Mu'taz, who was a son of Al Mutawakkil, in the game. That's because he was at the head of the most important event of the Anarchy, the Abbasid Civil War, which he fought against his cousin Al Musta'in. If we meet Al Mu'taz, we're likely to also meet Wasif al Turki. He was the only major Turkic commander that Al Mutawakkil had failed to destroy. He plotted the assassination of Al-Mutawakkil and played a vital role in the Caliphate's troubles during the Anarchy at Samara period. He was one of the heads of the establishment and whenever revolts occurred, he was usually on the other side. Next up, we have Al-Muwaffaq, a son of Al-Mutawakkil and brother to Al-Mautas. He led the forces for his brother during the civil war and was pretty much the only member of the Abbasid royal family who had actually led an army, and so he was respected by the Turks. His son al mutadid became caliph in 892, which might be out of the scope of the game. The next character, it's Al-Tabari, the great Islamic historian of the era. He was a young man, probably in his 20s during the events of the game, but he recalls seeing some of the destruction caused by the Abbasid civil war with his own eyes so it's possible that he might be in the game. I really hope that he is, and considering that Assassin's Creed has had some literary and scientific figures like Leonardo da Vinci, Charles Dickens, Benjamin Franklin, etc. in most of the previous games, I am very optimistic that Al-Tabari will be in the game. Finally, we have a character that's rumored to actually be in the game, Ali ibn Muhammad. That name sounded familiar and I remembered that I actually wrote about him for a future episode. Ali ibn Muhammad was a rebel who claimed descent from the Prophet. We don't really know his background, but he was a capable and charismatic figure who riled up the Zanj slaves to revolt. This created the greatest slave rebellion in the history of Islam. He managed to do quite a lot and carved up a mini-state within the Abbasid Caliphate. He raided important Iraqi cities like Basra, Wasit and Ahvaz. His capital at the fort of al Muqtara was quite formidable and he even minted his own coins. However, he was eventually defeated. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same Ali ibn Muhammad that's rumored to be in the game, but I think there's a good chance that he is. He had his own fort, his own army, and he was fighting for the freedom of slaves, so I'm pretty optimistic about him being the same guy. I guess we'll find out when the game comes out, but if you want to learn more about the history of the Abbasid Caliphate, I have a couple of detailed videos about them, and I'm making some more videos about this period and the subsequent decades, so subscribe for that. See you next time.